Hi, Donovan here. Um, uh, this uh, my uh, subscribers. Uh, sorry, I haven't been cranking out a whole bunch of videos lately, but uh, um, I am a fairly busy dude. Um, sorry, I'm just kind of cleaning the drift up here a little bit. Um, I was going to uh, just give you a quick uh, rundown on the um, H cigar version of the uh, Private version two. Um, now this is, uh, I wasn't sure, I, I actually got this for a, a Christmas gift, I wasn't sure if it was a Grand Vapor or, uh, or a clone, and, um, because, uh, you, you, you just can't tell the difference anymore. Um, I'm not going to get into the big, uh, clone debate, whether, you know, we should buy clones or we shouldn't buy clones, or... Listen, I'm, I'm going to get whatever's available here in, in Canada where I live, eh? And um, if uh, vendors are cranking out clones and they work good, all I care is whether I'm going to be able to vape or not, eh? Um, am I against? Like I, 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 I buy some some nice stuff. Like I got a, I got an actual Sioux mod that's not a clone. It's the actual thing, and um, and I, I bought it because it was like, oh. It's got silver contacts and uh, and uh, it does hit really hard. It's a it's a hard hitting mod, um, and I do like it. I like the um, I like the throw of the button. It's got a very nice throw to it. It's got a nice locking switch, and it's a uh, it's a pretty nice looking mod. Eh? Uh, it's aluminum. It's very light. Uh, so, anyways, but that's that's the real deal, and I, I think I paid like a hundred and forty bucks for it or something like that, right? So and uh, and that was um, so that was that was a pretty big, you know pretty big purchase for me. Anyways, I got uh, a Nemesis mod after that, which was a clone. I actually have one right here in the box. So that's a brass Nemesis. And uh, when I got my Nemesis, and I, I took two of them and I mixed them. I got two of them. I got a stainless one and I got a brass one, and I mixed them. And uh, that was the hardest hitting mod I had ever uh, used. Um, uh, like I've said in previous videos and that, I've got a very sensitive palette to uh, voltage drops and different uh, um, voltage levels and stuff like that, especially when using uh, uh, dripping atomizers that I built at real low resistance. Um, so my nemesis, I used months eh? and I love that mod and I, and I got this one for Christmas I don't know what it is when it, whether it's because it's shiny and new um, but I uh, I got this mod and I started using it and it just seemed to hit just a little bit harder than my nemesis did right and I didn't think that would be possible now there's some I'm gonna show you the little differences in in the mods um, this compared to uh, my nemesis um, so first of all we're gonna take the top cap off and uh, so it's got it's got a, a, a pen in there. Your cell it's a silver and it's a silver it's a silver pen just like in the Nemesis. Um, I don't believe I don't believe it floats. I don't think it's a floating pen because it doesn't seem to push. It's uh, it's mounted in Delron, so I don't want to shove it out or anything. So what I always do is I just screw my atomizer down onto it and it goes it goes pretty flush it goes down flush so and it's good and it makes good contact so it's just got that silver pen in there right so um, of course I'm using a 18650 e fest 1600 milliamp hour so these will push uh, like I said uh, they push 30 amps and they will do 60 amps in bursts high drain rechargeable battery so it's um yeah, this is this is uh, this is good. these are good batteries. Um, if you're a sub ohm vapor, right? So how this mod goes together? It's got these little brass tubes. They come out. You got your center piece, which comes off. It's threaded. The threading on here is superb. And this bottom uh, brass tube threads off. Then you have the copper portion here. And I'm going to unlock the lock on here. I'm going to push this up. I'm going to take the switch apart part for you guys so you can 
see how that works. I'm going to just undo the silver thing here because I do want to clean it. Just going to unscrew that until it comes off. There we go. There we go. So there's a little silver bottom pin. I know so it's getting a little, a little chewed up. Now this, I'm going to take this off here, the bottom switch. There's the spring. Comes off. Probably going to give that a little bit of a stretch. And just assemble this here. And there's your copper bottom piece there. So we're just going to all give this a quick little wipe down with the paper towel. This copper piece is uh, staying unusually clean. Um, I've uh, been using this mod, like say, since Christmas, and we're already you know, midway through January, so I've been using this mod very heavy since I got it. And um, it, uh, it's it's that cop that copper piece hasn't tarnished up uh, one little bit. Eh? Oops! I'm just gonna get that the thread back on there. There we go. Reverse threaded. There we go, genius. There we go. Got it together. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna give that spring a little bit of a stretch. Just a little bit of a stretch. There we go. Stretch that spring just a little bit, and we're gonna put that back onto there. Whoops! Oh, that's not good. There we go. I got it. Um, actually, we're gonna take that out again. I see a little bit of dirt gathered up in the bottom of this. There we go. Let's get another little wipe with the uh, paper towel there. Oh yeah, a little bit of dirt in there. There we go. And we put our spring in. And we'll put our switch in. Hold it against there. And take the silver thing and put it back in there. Now, the only thing I don't like about this is the nice thing about the Nemesis is you can kind of use a pair of pliers and you can snug up your uh, snug up your switch. This one, if you adjust the throw too far down on this one, it won't fire. So you're you're constantly having to adjust the throw on this mod. Um, There, screw that back onto there. When I got it, when I got this, it was actually assembled upside down. Um, the the grand vapor thing was upside down, and but, uh, yeah, there we go. Eighteen six fifty. And we'll put the top back on. And uh, you step back and have a seat, and uh, we'll have a little vape here. Let's, um, let's have a little hit of the old hubba bubba. Hubba bubba grape. I always over drip a little bit, especially when I'm running uh, 0.2 ohms on my IGO W. Uh, 26 gauge canthal, three wraps per side. That's a 6040 PG VG blend juice, and um, 
The flavor is just uh, magnificent on that. And I really have been enjoying this mod. So if you can get a private V2, I know that the uh, the um, cheap website. Uh, so I, make sure you know what you're getting. Uh, make sure, see if it's, always read in the description whether your device has silver contacts or not. Um, I don't even know if the one from Grand Vapor has silver contacts. I think it, it might be brass, but I'm not sure. Um, uh, I know the this is the H Cigar uh, clone, and it has silver contacts in it. Everything, as far as I know, as far as the mechanical mods from H Cigar, are all silver contacts. Uh, check with your local vendor. Um, uh, they should know this stuff. Uh, if not, it'll be your job to find it out, right, before you purchase your uh, your mod, right? Um, and by the way, this is a video number 68. So, on video number 69, we're going to do a giveaway. I haven't quite figured out what it is, but I think uh, we will give away trophy tank version 2 and maybe a bottle of juice or something um, so uh, tune into the next video and we'll have a little contest and give something away because it's the 69th video and I was born in 1969 and my handle on the uh, electronic cigarette forums is Donovan69 so um, yeah tune in and uh, thanks for watching and happy vaping